you know, I'm 75 years old. I should, at the time we started doing the book, maybe a couple of years ago, I'm thinking, well, it would be probably a good idea if I documented my uh, experience as one of the Beach Boys, which has been a phenomenal life. I mean, extraordinary experiences. And that's something to my children and grandchildren and fans of ours who have any interest at all in hearing from one of the guys who started the group and, and has um, lived his life performing for the last 55 years. So finally, I, I was able to associate with a, a really fine writer named Jim Hirsch, who's had some bestsellers in the New York Times bestseller bestseller list. And he uh, really um, he did so much research and helped to put things in context. You know, what we were doing this time in 1963, when President Kennedy was assassinated, or when Martin Luther King was killed, or yeah, all the you know, Vietnam War and uh, you know Watts riots, things like this. I mean, I was I grew up not too far from Southern California in the Watts situation, so um, I you know lived so many experiences, and we were doing our songs while all this stuff is going on, whether it be the Vietnam War or what have you. So you know, uh, Jim Hirsch helped me put it in. In context. It's also fascinating to hear some of the real stories behind the songs. And of course, you were the co writer on many of the Beach Boys' greatest songs like mm -hmm. Good Vibrations, mm -hmm. Fun, 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 mm -hmm. California Girls. Mm -hmm. And there's a great story mm -hmm. in this book. You talk about Good Vibrations, how you wrote the lyrics to that song while you were driving to the studio. And I'm just fascinated that inspiration would hit you then. Why do you 